Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. For this week's video, I decided to record this super easy glam. You can use it for whatever you want. I wore it to my work Christmas party, but I thought this would be a super easy look to wear on New Year's Eve. I will be working on New Year's Eve doing makeup, so if I do something like this super early in the morning, I know that it's going to stay all day. I'll just go home, zhuzh it a little, add a dark lip, and then you're good, good to go. So this is going to be a full face tutorial, including a long lasting foundation technique and a super easy eye and lip look for any time glam that you want, but possibly New Year's. So if you want to see how I created this super easy look, keep watching and I will teach you how to do it. To start off for moisturizer, because this is a nighttime look, I won't be using anything with SPF. I'm gonna use this Wonder Lush from Ofra. Honestly, you guys, I put these nails on before and I don't know how I'm gonna be able to properly do makeup with them. I don't understand how so many of these Instagram girls have these crazy nails. I did receive them from Static Nails. I love the designs of them. I have some other ones that are really cute and short, but I thought for the hell of it, I'd just put these on, but I think they're definitely a little too long for me personally. So for the foundation, I'm going to try a technique that I've been using a bit lately that I saw on Wayne Goss's channel. I picked these up when I was at the makeup show from Alco in New York. So I have this Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray and I'm going to spritz that all over my beauty blender. And also on my face. So I'm not going to be doing quite as many layers as Wayne Goss suggested on his channel because it's just a little too much foundation for me. It was actually like the video of the stage makeup that Lady Gaga uses. So basically you put the primer spray into your damp beauty blender and you, you'll use that to apply the foundation with. And for tonight's foundation, I'm going to use the Skin Base from Illa Masca in 4.5. Like with any new techniques, I always test it out a lot before I recommend it to you guys. So I tried this once on one side of my face and wore it for a whole day and saw how the other side wore and I've been obsessed with the makeup primer spray ever since. For concealer around the eyes, I'm going to be using this Alice Fast pen. I've been pretty obsessed with this concealer lately. I feel like it's not really sitting in my fine lines and it's also pretty good coverage for a click concealer pen. I find that most of the time, click concealer pens aren't that good a coverage, but this is just what I need right now. Ow. I knew I would poke myself at least once in the eye. I think these are gonna have to go before I have to go back to work tomorrow. For that little blemish guy right there, I'm just gonna be lazy about covering it. Just gonna grab some of the OCC concealer and just dab it over with my beauty blender. I can't really be bothered with precision concealing right now, especially seeing as we have mostly a, a medium to full coverage on right now. Just gonna get that little pimp in the center of my head too. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> They're everywhere right now. There's another one. I'm pretty sure the next step that Wayne Goss does is use the finishing spray and spritz this sponge and then do another layer of foundation, spritz it again, and then powder, spritz, and then one last spritz. So it's quite a lot of layers. And if you find that your foundation, you have trouble with it staying on, I would definitely recommend watching his tutorial. It was brilliant. This for me is enough coverage and enough staying time as well. Using this big Kat Von D soft fluffy brush, I'm just gonna go through the center of the face where I do get a little shiny sometimes with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I still wanna keep this look pretty dewy. For the eyes, I will be taking this 24 hour cream from Danessa Merix in the color Iconic. I'm just gonna get a tiny little squirt on the back of my hand. Actually, I forgot that the pump in this is broken, so I'm just gonna get a little schmear on the back of my hand. A little bit goes a long way, so I don't use a lot. I actually did this look the other night for my work Christmas party, and I was amazed at how easy this blended, so I was like, yes, this needs to be my New Year's Eve party tutorial for sure. I'm gonna grab this little Furless Cosmetics Fluffy Blending Brush and just buff a little bit of that pigment into it. And I'm gonna start just right on the center of the eye and just start buffing that 
up towards the crease you just want to start off with a really small amount first and then layer the pigment so that you can get a nice soft blend with that because it is a cream color I'm gonna grab quite a bit more now and start packing that onto the lid so make sure if you've got a lot of product on your brush pat it down onto the lid first and then feather up towards the crease Wherever you lay your brush first, the most product is going to go. I'm just going to take this little flat brush and just using the tip of it, I'm going to run that underneath the eye. I think the thing I like most about this pigment is that there's glitter in it, but it doesn't drop anywhere because it is in a cream. It blends so well as well. For the eyes, I'm going to use the Tarte Gifted Mascara. For underneath the eyes so it lasts longer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex in Waterproof. And for the brows, because I want a little bit more of an editorial look, I'm going to brush them up with this mascara. Just be very careful to only touch the hairs and try not to get the skin. For the tails, I'm just going to grab a little bit of this Brow Rehab Brow Cream in Jet Black. And I'm going to use this teeny tiny little pointed brush just kind of at the tail where I don't have any brow hairs. Just three or four just to elongate it a little bit and then just a little bit if there's any very noticeable gaps. For the cheeks I'm going to take this Illamasqua Sculpting Duo, the Morphe G39 brush. I'm going to take these two little cream highlighters from Cover FX. I'm going to start off with the lightest one and just run that on the tops of the cheekbones right there. Just dab that in with my finger. Be careful not to poke my eye out. Some just a little bit above the peak of the brow right there as well. If you get it a little bit too far underneath the eyes on your crow's feet or anything like that, you can just kind of pat it back in with your beauty blender as well. I'm going to take a second color from Cover Effects. This is the color Blossom. The first one was Celestial. And this is more of like a pinky kind of color. So I'm just going to use that kind of on the mid plane right there, just a little bit above the contour. This will just give like a little bit of a pinkish hue. Kind of deepen that contour a little bit if you need. Pop a little bit of that cream highlighter on the cupid's bow. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the OCC lip primer on. Just this look as well I think is great for the daytime if you're like me and you're a makeup artist you're probably going to be working all day on New Year's and you're not going to have time to come home and completely redo your makeup. So this is a really good long lasting look and all you'll need to do when you get home is maybe Rejuge your concealer, pop a little powder on, and then put on a banging lip. Blot that off just a little bit onto my hand. Because it's like zero degrees here in Michigan right now, my lips are super dry. So I won't be putting a liquid lipstick on, but I will be using the OCC Black Dahlia Pencil. I'm going to be taking this iconic lipstick from Makeup Geek in Shady. Next I'm going to grab this teeny little brush from Morphe, this is the M170 and a little bit of whatever's left of my foundation just on the tip of the tube right there. I like whatever's there because it's a little drier, it's kind of more like concealer. And then I'm just going to use this to kind of clean up the edges and make them look more crisp. And then I'm going to finish the look by using the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. So this is pretty much like my dream outfit from like New Year's Eve 1999. I have this kind of velvet cowl neck top from Bardo that just ties up in the back there. And obviously this awesome choker. I definitely feel like I need to listen to the Spice Girls while wearing this. I legit had an outfit like this back then when I was going to... We used to have blue light discos in Australia, which were like 
discos run by the police. I hope you guys will get some good use out of this New Year's glam. It's so easy to do. Honestly, I was in such a rush to get ready for my work party, so I grabbed this little cream color and just buffed it all over the eyes. I almost didn't expect it to buff so well, but it was beautiful. I was going to do like a transition color first, but it wasn't even needed with this little bad boy. So I feel like I didn't do too extremely bad with these nails in this tutorial as well. I only poked myself in the eye once, but I definitely don't think that I will be able to work as a makeup artist on other people with these claws. Let me know in the comments below if you're a makeup artist and you can you can do things with these. I just don't know how people pick things up. If you do decide to recreate this easy glam tutorial, make sure you tag me on Instagram, Jessica Hayes MUA. But other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial as always. And I will see you guys next week for my weekly video. Bye.